Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I really didn't know what to film, so I decided to do a very quick um, seasonal video. And today I'm going to show you, not show you, I'm going to share with you my top 5 family-friendly movies or films. I still don't know which one it's the right way to say it, or if it's the same, I don't know. Anyway, top 5 family-friendly films for this spooky season and without any further ado let's get into the video before I start talking about something else yeah <laughs> so the first one it's probably one that is on everyone's list which is the nightmare before Christmas I love that film I love it it's so good I think everyone likes it if you don't like it you have a problem okay um, it is perfect, I love animated films, I love stop-motion films, I love, you know, anything that makes me feel cozy but somehow it's spooky and actually I should put more than five films. Maybe I'm going to do a bonus because I, talking about this one I just remembered one that I love and it's so spooky but it's also for children but I remember seeing it and be like oh that's creepy and I'm talking after I watched The Exorcism and other creepy films I thought that one was creepy anyway so Nightmare Before Christmas is my number one when I say number one I'm not saying like my favorite one because I'm not saying anything in a specific order I just wrote these films down and just yeah because I like them all. Anyway, then we have Beetlejuice. I love it, you know. Uh, I used to be so obsessed, not obsessed, but I used to love this film so so much that I did a schoolwork for costume making back in secondary school and I used Beetlejuice as my inspiration for the character's costumes. So yeah, I really like it and also it's it has everything you need for this Halloween like everything it's family friendly it's so funny the next one was impossible to leave out the list because it's a classic it's a must it was impossible to do a top five Halloween films without putting this on it it's like it's almost the mother not the mother but it's a very cool auntie you know hocus pocus if you haven't watched it yeah, we can be friends, okay? I mean, we can. But this is one of the best classic Halloween films that you could ever see. I love it. It's It just reminds me of my childhood and just... It makes me feel so cozy and it just has all the Halloween vibes and coziness to it. And just... It's like the door before Halloween, then Christmas and everything, it all starts with Hocus Pocus. Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. The next one is Adam's Family. I love it. I really don't know what to say besides it's perfect. It's so funny. I love the dark humor on it. I just think it's so, so, so funny. And I also really relate with Gretchina. 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 Christina, Christina Ricci, you know, because of our five heads, I really relate to it and I just think, again, it's so funny, super Halloween-y, super cozy. Obviously, I love it, that's why I made a list with these films on it, but yeah. I also really like The Addams Family too. also a classic, very good, recommend it. And the final film of this list besides the bonus film that I'm going to say after this one it's the Casper why I keep saying the before the names I don't know it's just Casper you know again Christina Ricci you know uh, but I think it's such it's such a childhood film because I used to watch it so much when I was little and it used to play so 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 much on the TV here in Portugal on the weekends and you know before we had all these streaming things and before you could just go back on the programs and everything else when it was just 
those channels and you had to watch it when it was going on. I just really like that film. I watch it every year and I just just makes me happy and it just feels I just feel so warm, you know? Okay, why is the lighting so weird today? I don't know. It's very grey outside, maybe that's why. But I think I look different today. Um, and moving on to the bonus film of this list is Coraline. No, you can talk about creepy family films without talking about Coraline. I think that's one of the scariest, not scariest, but the creepiest films I've ever seen. And I've watched a lot of films in my life, but I just think it's so, so creepy. And the stop motion just makes it even creepier and spookier. And I just love it. You know, I love the whole idea, the whole concept behind it. I just think that's a brilliant film. Also, if I'm not wrong, it's from the same... Um, director of The Nightmare Before Christmas and the idea of having two and a good one and bad one and the temptation of doing, you know, giving... Oh, I don't want to spoil anything in case you didn't see it yet so that's why I'm really trying not to say anything specific about the storyline of the film but I... you just have to watch it if you didn't already because it's brilliant 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 and creepy um also anything tim burton like every single one of these films just very halloweeny and that's everything for today's video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more of me and yeah see you on my next one bye